do subscribe to ekda channel and press bell icon to get updates about deflection of beam using geometrical method in that we are seeing conjugate beam method hello friends today we are starting another chapter this name as deflection of beam using geometrical method we have done with this macaulay's method now we are starting another name as conjugate beam method and moment area method today we are seeing a conjugate beam method let's see in details of conjugate beam method definitions concepts and their problem so let's see in details now see this is a conjugate beam method this is a one method is name as deflection of beam using geometrical methods in that this is an, one method conjugate beam method definitions and their concepts let's see now first of all we see the definitions what is the definition of first of all we see the definition what is the definition of conjugate beam okay now see a conjugate beam is nothing but an imaginary beam for which an imaginary beam for which the load diagram is the m by ei diagram means the load diagram is the m by ei diagram you have to remember only this part load diagram is the m by ei diagram now what is m by ei diagram i will explain in the sums also okay now see when you have to while using conjugate beam method you have when you have to find the slope or deflection see when you have to find the slope what you have to do see slope at a section of a given beam means the question is given the slope at a section of a given beam means your question is given we have to find a certain point at slope slope at a section of given beam is equal to shear force at a section of conjugate beam means what we have to do we have to take shear force at a section of a conjugate beam means we have to take the section at a shear force of conjugate beam okay now when we are find the deflection the deflection at a section of a given beam is equal to we have to take the bending moment of that section of conjugate beam okay now what's the difference between in real beam and conjugate beams let's see some difference there are different types of beams comes in the exams let's see what are the different types now see real beam and their corresponding conjugate beams real beams and their corresponding conjugate beams now see these all are real beams these all are conjugate beam see first one will be see in real beam if first part is free one part is free then the conjugate beam that will get fixed if real beam the first part will be fixed the real in conjugate beam it will be free now see this is free this is fixed this is fixed this is free now see in real beam these are the simple supports simple supports is never change in conjugate beam also or in real beam also okay now see in real beam if there is a hinge and roller so in conjugate beam also there is a hinge and roller only okay now in third part fourth part will be the see here is fix this is free here is roller support here is roller support but see this is an internal hinge where in real beam is internal hinge here will be roller or simple support okay now see this is fixed this is fixed this is fixed this one is also fixed now see this is internal hinge this is one simple support is nothing but roller support this is roller support in sent between this is internal hinge these are the this types of loads are, are come in the exams for better understands let's see the problem number 1 that you can understands better okay i hope you understands my video and don't forget to subscribe the ekda channel share with your friends thank you